During the launch of the Roadcaster Pro 2, it was very hyped up and everybody was looking forward to it, but no one could imagine the flaws that came with the launch of the Roadcaster Pro 2. Today, we're exploring the current options of the USB Mix Minus on the Roadcaster Pro 2. Let's get into it. There have been claims that the USB Mix Minus does not work or does not exist on the Roadcaster Pro 2. Although it's not exactly the same way found on the Roadcaster Pro 1, it does exist and it does work on the Roadcaster Pro 2. So what exactly is USB Mix Minus? Well, it's exactly how it sounds. It sends audio channels to your output mix minus the channels that you do not want in that audio mix. USB mix minus channels that you don't want. This is very useful when you're talking to someone remotely and also when you're experiencing feedback or like an echo. What exactly are your options on the Rodecaster Pro 2 and USB mix minus? So the Rodecaster Pro 2 has three USB outputs. And I go over this in a separate video where I talk about the benefits of having the Rodecaster Pro 2 with a dual PC hookup. So if you wanna watch that, go ahead and click the link up above. But basically the Rodecaster Pro 2 has two USB outputs on one computer and a third USB output on a separate computer. But you could put that separate USB output into the same computer, making it three total on one computer. So what types of USB configurations do you have? What do those look like on the computer? The first USB output is your main mix. All signals from the Rodecaster Pro 2 will be fed through that mix into your computer. Currently, there is no USB mix minus on that mix. I would definitely not suggest this mix for talking to somebody remotely as they could get a little bit of an echo or feedback. Moving on, we have USB chat. The good news is USB mix minus is always applied to this channel. So you definitely wanna use this when you're on a Zoom call in Discord or you're talking to somebody remotely. Use USB chat every single time. And your third channel is called USB secondary. And this one comes from the second USB-C port that you would feed into a computer. So this could be into the same computer or a separate computer. For this mix, you have to go into the menus to find the USB mix minus option. So you would just simply turn that on and then that mix would have the USB mix minus option. It would be nice to see the USB mix minus option on every single USB output menu until we have some firmware updates and stuff like that we're gonna have to kind of wait for that. I think it's funny that they had to release a developer's update because of so many complaints and chit chat. So there's a bit of a workaround when you're using the Roadcaster Pro 2. This is only valid when you're not recording directly into the Roadcaster Pro 2, but instead you're recording into the computer software. And to do this, you're gonna use the listen and mute buttons found at the bottom of the faders on the device itself. For the channels you do want to hear on your recording, you're going to press the green listen button. By doing that, you're going to solo out those channels. By doing that, you're going to disable any effects applied to that channel and it won't be recorded into the software. Using the mute button on the USB 2 channel will prevent them from hearing themselves. And while we're on the topic of using these buttons, the back channel communication still exists just like it did on the Roadcaster Pro 1. Simply press both the listen and the mute button on channel one. From there, you can communicate with any other channel that you would like without affecting the recording. This is a really cool feature if you're on a podcast or on an interview. Try it out for yourselves and let me know what you guys think. I really think this device is the answer to almost any production. Yes, it's missing some features up front, but there is USB mix minus, and you guys had mentioned that you guys wanted that. More routing options for audio would be a game changer, and I would like to see some more updates in the near future. But until then, we're gonna have to wait. After hearing that the Roadcaster Pro 2 has USB mix minus, what do you guys think about the device? Does this change your guys' perspective on the device, or are you still upset with Road? What are your guys' opinions and thoughts? Let me know down below. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.